Hey everybody, this is Fragger and Ray, back with another A Look Back At, but this time, Condemned. Yeah, a lot of people like this, the, mm -hmm. uh, the first one we did with uh, The Darkness, and so we're doing it again with Condemned, like, that was a launch game for the 360, right? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I did not play that game until probably like a year later. This one was one I picked up a little bit after I got my 360. For reference, I got my 360 around the Halo 3 launch, but I actually played on the PC first. Yeah, this game is uh, this game's very good. Very scary, too, in like a weird kind of way. Getting chased yeah. around by bums. Scary shit, man. <laughs> scary bums that want to punch you in the face. Yeah, seriously. And then some of the sci-fi shit that pops in, too. Yeah, that which is kind of threw me off at first. Like, why is this in here? But, yeah, I kind of got around to it, and I didn't mind it so much. Mm -hmm. A majority of this game's achievements, though, are all, like, collectibles. Also, good to note, this game's uh, maxes out at 970. Which is very confusing. Which is, which is weird. And I thought in Condemned 2 they would make it up by making the game, like, 1,030 points. Gamer score, I should say. But they didn't do that. So 30 points is still missing. Also, that game is a ton of multiplayer, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I like Condemned 2. Anyway, back to Condemned 1. Yes. Uh, the first achievement we're going to talk about is you found all the birds in the game, the Golden Bird Award. Uh, there's <laughs> dead birds in the game, which is kind of odd. <laughs> they are literally just uh, bird corpses, like all skeletal remains with flies flying over them. Completely weird. They have no purpose to the game at all, as far as I can remember. They're just collectibles. It's like, oh, all right. I'll just take this dead bird and... <laughs> and shot it in my pants. Yep. Where's he going to put it? Yeah, seriously. He just grabs it, and that's it. You, you have the bird. I think there's, uh, like, four or five per level, maybe, somewhere around Give there. Give or take, there's about four or five, but um, each level has two two achievements tied to getting dead birds, too. Yeah, isn't it for finding one and then finding all of them? Yes, For each is. level, yeah. It's bronze and then silver, gold yeah. bird awards. And then the gold one, like it's, like we just said, is for finding all of them. Uh, the next team is uh, Golden Melee Master Award. It's a complete condemned criminal origins with only melee weapons. You're probably going to do this on accident mainly because there's only like four or five guns in the game you have to find mm -hmm. a majority of them and the melee weapons are pretty good once you uh, learn the uh the combat system which is pretty much a block uh can you parry in this game or counter was that um them too? i think i don't remember if parrying is in this game i remember uh just blocking and then the guy's like oh i'm staggered and you're like punch punch yeah punch, okay punch, that's dead. what it was so once you uh learn how to block like time the block correctly then it's, this game's pretty much a pushover on... Uh, yeah, and then fighting the fire axe. Or yeah, fighting the fire the axe, exactly. And all the weapons, I believe, have a uh, have different stats, if I remember they correctly. They do have all different stats, and um, they also don't degrade, unlike the second game. Yeah, that, so. that's, the, that's the thing. Like if, you're, if we're referencing the second game, it's because they change a lot in the second game, and that's really like foremost, like in my mind at least, when I'm thinking of this game. Yeah, so once you find a, a good melee weapon, stick with it, even though sometimes you have to drop it because a door will be locked, you need like a crowbar or something like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, for the most part, learn the block, and you'll be good to go. And, yeah, uh, yeah you, like I said, you'll, you'll probably get that one on accident. And if you, find a, uh, if you find a gun, I think you can uh, switch it to use the butt of the gun. You I'm can, not... but it's always just a good idea just to drop the gun just in case. Yeah, that didn't count for uh, melee weapons, right? The butt of the gun. Uh, I don't remember if they do or not. I'm pretty positive they don't. They okay. just mean the straight-up melee weapons, like, like, here's a piece of wood with a nail in it. Yeah, I got you. All right, next achievement is Chief Investigator Award, which is to find every piece of evidence in the game. Uh, turns out you're a detective in this game, and there is a story, and you're a detective trying to find a serial killer and all that bad stuff. SKX. Yep. And um, there are times where you'll bust out these weird devices that you have no idea what they do, which is mm -hmm. obviously used to uh, find the evidence. And you can use it, or you can just like walk away from it. And obviously, to get this achievement, you have to uh, use it. And I don't think there's any that you can miss. They're all pretty much story-based, but like I said, you can, you can ignore it if you want. But, um, yeah, so just get this and make sure you find every piece of evidence. Nothing really too uh, too hidden. Everything yeah. is pretty straightforward as far as the evidence goes. So find It's all along the, the lines of one of those things, like you missed a step in a single investigation instead of following through it. And, or it might be something like, oh, you, you turned right instead of left, and then there was, like, a thingy over there that you mm -hmm. forgot to look at. Yeah, exactly. There's some semen on that wall. Yeah, you should probably go do something with it with this device wow. there's, there's, there's always evidence like that there's always evidence these. even though this is a serial killer why is this wall covered in semen what the hell every single <laughs> show it's like wh why do why do serial killers do that i don't know they just they're get, like they're, you know what they're really I excited with somebody might as well leave some evidence yeah might as well leave some evidence you know keep the uh keep the trail nice and fresh <laughs> but uh next achievement is firearm freedom award which is to find every available firearm like i mentioned before there's only like four weapons maybe four or five it's like a pistol a shotgun a assault rifle uh i think there's yeah like maybe two pistols a shotgun and an assault rifle or some kind of rifle i think that's yeah. it that i'll call this is a bolt action yeah and that's all i can really remember yeah and you don't have to get a kill with it you just need to find it so if you find it you just 
If you find it and you're going to go for a gold melee master reward, just find it and get rid of it immediately. So you don't have yeah. any misfires or stuff like that. And the yeah. last one we're going to talk about is you found every type of melee weapon and firearm. So there you go. Just like a combination of the two. In a step way. up. Yeah, step up. Just find everything. Uh, some levels have um, repeating objects. Like I'm sure you'll be able to find like a plank or like a or steel crowbar, pipe or, fire or a crowbar axe. in multiple levels. But I think, for example, in the second level or the third level, whenever you're in the subway, that's when you can find a stop oh, that's sign. Right. Mm -hmm. and that's the only, the, uh, only um, level you can find that on. And then when you're in like a department store, there's a mannequin arm. Yeah. By the way, that department store level is fucking scary, man. That's yes, like the it fourth is. level. I remember playing that. Uh, God, when this when the 360 come out like six years ago. Yeah. So I was I was like 17, give or take, and I'm <laughs> I'm a big pussy. And I got to that level, I'm like, nope, not yet. And it took me a few days just to get through that level. Yeah, it's a combination of one, you have the scary bums chasing you, and two, I'm not gonna spoil it, but mannequins are scary. Mannequins are hell. terrifying in this game. Oh Ugh. my god. Ugh. They they all, I remember they also do that in the second game too. Yeah, they and do. they really me mess you up in the second game with the that. The second one I kind of expected though, still scary though. Still scary. Just oh, give me the heebie-jeebies. God. That was probably the scariest level for me in that game was the oh, uh, department store. Oh yes it was. God, but overall this game is a very good game. You could definitely find this for cheap, probably like five dollars somewhere around there yeah yeah if that <laughs> if that it's a very fun game it's an easy list if you don't mind going for collectibles it's an easy 970 yeah it's an easy 970 god damn it <laughs> condemn three if you ever get made please make it like 10 30 and make, make mm -hmm. like the 30 point achievement something like you think we forgot ha 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 no yeah. no like 30 point achievement is like you 100 percented condemned one that would be uh, that would be dickish it should just but be you press know what start. i'd be like touche yeah i guess so it should be like press start and there's a 30 gamer score that you know this is, we didn't forget about it yeah press start. exactly like haha you thought we forgot but uh if you have any other suggestions for uh games to take a look back on we're only going to do 360 games so if you're like super mario brothers 2 yeah we're not going to do that not so, yet at least maybe man. in the future yeah so 360 now games, we're with 360 give us suggestions and we will uh, look into it so uh yeah that that's that goodbye bye bye